here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Sometimes you're known by your enemies, even more so than your friends. Noted gun rights researcher, gun law researcher, John Lott, is taking it again from the folks on the left. Another article is published. It's being copied, reprinted all over. And, of course, it denigrates the work of John Lott, Dr. John Lott, economist, professor. Of course, he's been researching guns, gun laws, gun rights, the effectiveness of gun laws for, I don't know, 25 years or so. His work is seminal in this field. And yet the folks on the left want to keep saying, yeah, well, that's been debunked. Well, no, actually, no. Every time they try to debunk John Lott's work, the debunking work actually ends up getting debunked and is made to look foolish and stupid. You know, I, I would just say, John, keep doing what you're doing. If the gun ban industry is calling you out, then you're doing something right. You're making them nervous. They're having a hard time convincing people of their lies when you keep doing your research and showing everyone what the truth is. John Lott's book, one of the best books out there, is you know, More Guns, Less Crime. More Guns, Less Crime. A lesser known book, but really good is The Bias Against Guns, where he documents media bias on guns, the way, report it, the way they report examples. It's like, okay, you get a self-defense shooting. Somebody uses a gun to stop a school shooting. And the first reports talk about, you know, a, the assistant principal or, in the case of the Appalachian School of Law, two students go to their cars and get their guns and come back and stop the shooter. Within 12 hours, that reference is removed from the news reports. And then it says two students stopped the shooter. But no reference to the fact that two students went to their cars and got their guns and came back and pointed them at the shooter. And then he gave up. Thus, the media removing the historical point that guns were used to stop a school shooting. Later on, when people are doing their searches, Google, DuckDuckGo, whatever, and they find these stories, they go, I I don't see reference to that guns were used, so guns were not used. Stop this. It's The Bias Against Guns by John Law. He did a great job with that one. 